you want to go. Mm. Oh, you have. So, Ba, hmm? where are we? Ray Cops. Where are we going? Annafeld. How far? 80 days. What are we doing here? Hunting. <laughs> we eating. Right oh, we're eating now. <laughs> He's already hunting. He's hunting the samosas. <laughs> Johnny, I'm going to buy that. My cousin, Mr. Mohammed, always knew I was after a big eland and uh, a massive kudu. One of the fine days he called me and he tells me, listen here, one of my very good friends has a concession near the Kalahari. It's actually a 15,000 plus hectare farm. He tells me, would you be interested in going to hunt there and you could probably get the trophies you're looking for? I go like, I'm ready, let's do it, get the bookings. Yeah, so I was added on the WhatsApp group. Suddenly I'm seeing guys saying, hey, let's go hunting. I said, no problem, let's get on your own. First time ever coming hunting. Maro. It's early in the morning. <laughs> Let me tell you, but I already had my tea, my coffee and my cigarette. Let's roll. <laughs> yeah, so the morning of the trip, they made me wait half an hour because they were half an hour late. Anyway, Johnny and Shai pitched up, jumped in the car, drove over to Bangs' house. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is hey, Bangs. This is my man, you okay? What's happening, man? Welcome to my home. Yeah. Loaded the vans, some ridiculous hour of the morning, it was ice cold. Box of 300. 6.5 creed more. Very good. The Check. time is 6.08. On Thursday the 28th of July, we're about to hit the bush. Another 600 k's until we get to where we're going. Where are we going now? We're going to fetch my brother from Palapi. About 260 k's away from here. Right, then we're going to branch off and head into central Botswana and carry on to Raycops and then turn off cut line 74 kilometers per farm. Right, it will be an eight hour journey hopefully. Uh, let us pray the Almighty takes us safely and bring us back safely and we have a blast. I mean, let's do it. High five. High five. <laughs> let's roll, let's roll. As soon as we got out of town, I was driving with Bangs. said, hey guys, we're hungry. Started eating the samosas. Met some old friends on the road. Johnny, I saw this. Guy. This is uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. this is our general boss. Johnny, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and some more samosas. <laughs> Jumped in the car again, carried on driving. Yeah, we picked up then Shai's brother in Palapi. I spoke to Kamran and I told Kamran, right, look, there's a trip coming up. Are you on for it? He says, just gave me a thumbs up and he was smiling and he was happy. So I said, right, we on. Hey, Hunter, yeah. Sniper. what's your story? story? Johnny, this is my bro. This is my nephew. This is the sniper. Say how's it to the camera, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm based in Francistown and my bro is in uh, Gaborone. So we met halfway in Palapi and then uh, jumped with him, with uh, the guys. And then we drove all the way to, to the farm. Uh, what a great place it is. Hi, I'm Azar. I'm the outfit of uh, Jira Safaris. It's a private game farm located on the edge of the Central Kalari Game Reserve. I came up with the idea of bringing him to Heinefeld. Excellent facilities over here and excellent game. Yeah, I like it, guys. Yeah. Nice spot. That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah. This will be our home for the next few days. Well, I'm excited to have a look at the kitchen and what what Azar has cooked got for us. Yeah, I'm excited to see what comes out of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna see. <laughs> Azar, you can set us settle us in, in into our tents. Yeah, no problem. What do you guys say? Shop. Huh? Captain. I, I captain. I'm set. <laughs> Azar is a captain for the next few days. Yeah. Captain. About 70 k's of dirt driving that takes a toll on you. But yeah, got to the lodge, got a fantastic reception. And yeah, we were home. Rocked up here first night. <laughs> Our chef pulls out prawns. Yeah, prawns and chips, hard. prawns and rice. So that's our famous taka taka. It's a famous chicken that we make um, at our butchery meats and treats in Khabroni. It's a favorite for most people. And then we're gonna have some peri peri prawns with uh, spicy rice and uh, potato chips. Ah, we were shell-shocked. We knew what we were in for here. Thought you're gonna lose weight in the bush. Not at all. What I'm gonna say is bon appetit. Uh, man, we had a five-star chow, eh? 
everything was on top. Uh, Bangs and Maru were the main guys to organize all the chows and the cooking and it was lovely. We had a great time, man. Morning guys, we had a good night's sleep, woke up to a lacquer breakfast and now we're heading out this morning, uh, it's going to be day one, let's see what we get out there, there's some trophies that we're after, hopefully we'll get them by the end of the day. When we see the enema, right, we're going to check it, I'm going to leave the car idly, Yeah. we need to drive a bit more forward, we drive more forward, when you're ready for the shot I'll switch off, okay? okay. okay. Mama, I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, when we were electing jobs, I elected to be navigator. I was sitting next to, uh, we call him Mini Schumacher, because he drove really well, bangs. Yeah, and we were navigating through, listening to the guys in the back telling us which direction to go. The main agenda and the quota for the day was basically going for the Nassau Ilan, which I like to say Monster Ilan, and the Trophy Kudu. While we were scouting for animals, we had a situation of coming across a group of uh, Hemsbok. We still said no, we can come for them a bit later because there's a chance that we could see a big eland in the early morning. As we're driving along, I saw this grey big thing moving on the side, so it caught my eye. And when I put my eye on it, it was basically the monster Elan I was after. Does it down? Does it. I waited for it to cross, and as soon as it crossed, I knew the one I wanted. I put my cross air on it, and I fired while it was running, and dropped it on its tracks. I hit a running shot, which I've always wanted to do in my life, especially for a monster eland. When we stopped, we saw the eland, and it ran across the road, and Shai took the shot, and then it was, Mohammed, give it gas. Hey, that next 150 meters was brilliant. Pulled up there nice and easy, braked. There the animal was, back broken, took the next shot. Ah, that's when we knew we are in the right position, and we were going to have fun. Nice bull. Bull, so man. that was the dream trophy I was after. Shot in the best way I've always wanted to do. Congratulations, Thank man! Yeah. Shout out to you! Yeah. Well done, my yeah. man on the hey, run! Nice <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you got a nice one. Nice bull, nice man! Bull, man. What a bull, huh? Shadow! Yeah. Oh. Hey, you nice got when he took off, because yeah. I saw it running. Yeah. So I said, you know what, when this yeah. one comes out, I was already on the cross yeah. as it came. That's, oh, so, it's, so it's happy days for me, there's not much meat damage, huh? <laughs> dropped him. Yeah. I told you there's some big bulls here, bye. Mm, that's he, it. He dropped the suspension. Hey. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you know what would be nice, Chad, if you get a big hems back now, bye. Mm -hmm. Dead with this and a big kudu. Mm. Uh, we were driving along the road and uh, Kamran is a very good spotter. He spotted a Hemsbach at about 150 odd meters or something like that. He just leveled the gun and he told me, Dad, can I take the headshot? And I said, go for it. In the white line. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> nice one, boy. Yeah. Nice one, my boy. Let me take it. Immediately, the second Hemsbach just came up. Yeah. Lovely, Samero! Lovely, boy! And uh, I took a shot on it. So it was a fantastic day for me uh, to shoot with my son. Uh, I had uh, an amazing experience, you know, shooting father and son uh, combo. Uh, it was just fantastic. You know, I, I'm even short of words. I can't express the feelings that I had at that time. You know, it was just too great for me.
Well done. Well done, father yeah. and son, man. Good. Well done. Oh, shooting, Bushi, shooting. Shooting, boy, shooting. Yeah. Good stuff. Father and son combination. Two nice. down. Bravo. I shoot, yes. Can I shoot him? Very good. Very no good. meat damage. Yeah, no damage. Well done. Man. Well done. <laughs> Bye, chocolate. Huh? <laughs> um, so it's half 11 and we're heading to the workshop now to drop off these two hams. Back. Um, the boys will continue skinning over there while we go to camp and grab some lunch. That's right. Working with some fillet steak here and some bone marrow, right? I'm gonna have it with rotis and uh, Greek salad and some chips, right? And then we're gonna head out and hopefully find that Eland and finish our quota today. <laughs> we came over and had some lunch. A little, had a little bit of uh, relaxation going on, and uh, later that afternoon we hit out for now on the hunt for the kudu. It's not that bad. It's nice, bro. I can see me. He's a fucking nice, bro. Hey, there's two of them. It's the one behind his pick. As you know, you know, when you're hunting for a specific animal, it's like it's got a sixth sense that you're after it, and it just makes your hunting difficult. Basically, we walk through the thickets to basically get closer to it. As soon as they could smell or hear us, you know, cutting through the bushes, it ran away. And then we saw another group with a, with a good group of bulls. They also ran away. But we just said, you know what, let's regroup, let's rethink. And uh, let's rather look for them in a bit of an opening so that I can get a better shot. We could see them just walking. But all the bushes cut. Yeah. No, because you have good levels. Yeah. While we were still driving around and I was a bit frustrated with the kudu situation and here's Johnny who spotted a hamsbok in the thickets. Johnny goes like, uh, look at that and I go like, Johnny, you know what? I think this time you need to get into the hot seat. Why don't you take over the gun? I'll take over the camera. Let's see who gets the best shot out of it. So Johnny was trigger happy. He jumped on, got a decent shot but because of the shot was in the thick bush. It went slightly lower than expected. But nevertheless, it was a good shot and uh, we didn't have to like uh, chase it for too long. And when he got a decent chance and it gave him a side view, Johnny didn't even waste time. I think he's so good with shooting on camera that he was actually good with the rifle as well. Heads up to him, man. Hey, that was me who shot that so cock. <laughs> well done, Johnny! Well done. Thank you, well done! Lovely! Hey, well thank, done. You. thank you, thank you, gentlemen. My friend, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's my first ever Gemspark and um, my first ever time in Botswana. And it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you, my friend. You're most really welcome. Amazing. And welcome to Botswana. Thanks. We've got please. big hearts and big game here. That's it. John, Johnny will remember this hunt Guys, for the rest of his life. Hello. 
Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's it happens in Botswana. It's color type now. So while we were driving back to camp and the sun was about to set and we spotted another two Hansbok on the right and uh, since I didn't have a great afternoon I had to make sure that I put something down to go home to otherwise I know the guys are going to drill me at camp. I got a good glance at this fence box and it was one shot drop and I was happy with that shot at, at the end of the day and uh, it was actually a very good and uh, decent sized uh, fence box. This beauty basically just came in in front of us standing at about 100 meters and uh, gave me a good shot for the heart lung and I took it at first and uh, here's the result a beautiful fence box. We're back. Been a successful day. All went well. We've got six in the bag. Four Hemsburg, one Eland, and one Impala. Good day, good hunt. Is that, should we load another round of chops? Or is this enough? Yeah, we're gonna load. It's not enough, we're gonna load. load. We had amazing food here at the camp breakfast, lunch and supper. Um, it's a big passion of mine. Okay, tonight um, what we have is picanha steaks, um, beef sick kebab, lamb sick kebab, masala loin chops, salt and pepper loin chops, salt and pepper sausages and sweet chili sausages, lamb and beef. Yeah, so you know, I was called the sous chef for this guy Mohammed, our real chef. But I tell you the amount of times he called my name. Imran, move this. Imran, move that. I was just like, ah, bruh, you calling my name just to call my name. But we worked. It's gonna give it some lovely flavor. How does that look? Avi, my setup is much better than yours. Uh, Benzi, your setup, uh, what do you mean? I thought we are one unit. Now I see it's a competition. Huh? Oh, okay. And it was good. We fed the guys. The guys ate like hell. Some guys were dishing up two and three times. That is all you want. See smiles on guys' faces. Go to a bed with a full belly. Ah. Heartwarming stuff, great team, great food. What else can you ask for? Hey, we are about to hit the hot zone. <laughs> yeah, the navigator's jumping in. We're about to get this party started, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go hunt some. What, what do you call it? Tolos. Let's go hunt some tolos, man. Oh. Sharp people! <laughs> when we got to the bomber at about 7 o'clock in the morning, and before anybody could say anything, I told them, guys, best believe it. Today when I get a chance at the Kudu, it's going down. One shot. And we left camp, and we headed out to the bush, looking for that Kudu. So we drove for a good two, two and a half hours, and uh, we found this grouping of Hemsbok. So we were observing them as they were running, and basically, as we followed through, we saw a group of kudus. In that group, there was three big bulls. One in the center, one behind it, and one on the side of it. And basically, I didn't have the best angle to shoot at, but because I made a promise to the guys, today when I get an opportunity, I will take it down. I went out there and made sure I do that. So basically, I lined up my gun, looked at my scope, picked up the one that I want and um, basically gave it the best shot. At the end of the day, I got the animal that I really wanted all my life that gave me the most difficult hunting shots ever. And now that I have it, I can say it was worth it. 
all the struggles I went through to get a big guru, I finally got it. Good one. Nice. Nice. Boy. Thanks, guys. PH. Nice. Nice Thank you. Sure. That's our kudu down. Nice. One. My nemesis, I got him. Yeah. Thanks. My spotter. Thank you. <laughs> Johnny. Kudu down. <laughs> what a beauty, man. Nice one, man. Very nice. Mm. Check the ivory is even coming out. Here. Yeah, it's a big trophy, man. Mm. Thank you, Mr. PH. No stress, bro. You know what I'll say? Congrats, you made my dreams come true. Big Elan, Monster Elan, Trophy Kudu. I thought that's what you're supposed to say to your wife. Don't <laughs> <laughs> go get that on camera, huh? I don't know. Hey, just give me a give me a copy of this. <laughs> he's gonna he's I gonna need, he's going I to need backup. <laughs> he's going to blackmail me for the rest of my life. Side cover for me, why? Well done on your kudu. Hope is all what you wanted. Thank you, PH. And uh, actually it's one of the animals I've always wanted. And uh, having this PH with us, Mr. Azhar, it's just basically made my dreams come true. With my monster Eland, and now this uh, trophy kudu. Brilliant hunting with Mr. Azhar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. As uh, we've loaded the kudu, and now we're basically trying to look for another Eland for my brother. We've got Bangs now, who became mini shoe marker in the bush. It drives extremely well and uh, heads off to him as well. So while we're driving and we're going through the thickets, for some reason, this guy didn't realize we had a flat tire. So day three, we had a bit of an issue. Um, it was something, I felt something wrong on the steering wheel, but I thought it was the thick sand that was just pulling us off the road, continuously pulling us off the road. We had this guy standing with a stick in the front <laughs> and he's tapping left and tapping right. But ah, my driver, he's going left when the guy's tapping right, ah, it was a mess. So he kept turning, but he's turning more than normal. And his co-driver, Maru, is telling him, Thanks, I think you have a flat tire. He says, Maru, believe me, it's the thickets. We're in the sand. It happens. And Maru goes like, but it shouldn't be happening like this. And between them, it was a cute argument going on, but only to realize that he had a flat tire because at one stage when he took the turn, basically the vehicle went towards a tree. So that's when he realized, oh, something's wrong. And when he got out, we had a flat tire. Hey, you know one thing, you, you're a funny you're a guy. Special you're a funny guy. How you couldn't feel that they had a puncher? Samir, so like a machine, uh, loosened all the bolts. We had a bit of an issue with the jack, but we managed to make a plan with a spanner. Uh, you come across things like that. So, yeah, it's all an experience and uh, it was just enjoyment. We were enjoying ourselves. Like I said, TIA, this is Africa, expect the unexpected. While you're on the hunt, you get a flat tire. But the moral of the story is, you fix it and you move on. We're going now for the Elan. And if you get it, best believe it, it's going down. We got out uh, in the afternoon. We drove, drove, drove and uh, we came across uh, a nice herd of Elan. And uh, Azar as the PH uh, advised us and said, look, there, there, there's a bull who's a breeding bull and uh, he kept an eye on the, on the one that I'm, I'm supposed to shoot. And we got onto him. Stop, 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 stop. And I took my first shot. Uh, well, it didn't go down immediately and Bangs was driving fantastic. Uh, we were just worried about the portholes, but uh, we were driving very well and I kept my eye on it and Azar was doing the fantastic job, you know, guiding me. That's it. He was a tough bastard. We had to put a couple of bullets on him to slow him down and to completely put him off because uh, it, it was a hard one, eh? hard one. Well done, done. well done, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. well done, thanks, my friend. Hey. 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 What, a, what a fight, yeah. but well what? done. Yes, sir. thanks guys. Well done, well done, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is a good side. Yes, this was good, boss. Well done, well done. Hey, hey, driver, hey. heads off, my man. Well done.
Heads of banks. Well done, banks. Well done. Hey, what a what a what a experience, eh? Ah, but it was nice. We had a little bit of chase. Yeah, but we managed to get it, man. That's it. Eventually. Thank you guys. 100 percent Well Thank done, man. Thank you guys. I hope my driving was okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah, too yeah. good, PH. man. Ah. Thanks, man. You kept your eye on it. Excellent stuff. It was good fun, man. Yes. Took my headache away. I'm very happy. The Elan we wanted for today's quota. We managed to get it. It's been a tough day. But you know what? You have to pay for the price and you have to take the trophy home. So you keep on it until it's down. Well done on your nice Elan bull. Thanks, PH. Two Elan bulls in two days. And uh, we saw this bull in the herd and we managed to single it out and Samir got a good shot on him. Well done. Thanks. Thanks, PH. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a lovely afternoon. Uh, it took us some time, but we eventually managed to get it. Thanks to the team. Enjoy the hunt. Perfect. And then just uh, do it more naturally. Look at each other and handshake. Thanks, Lani. Congrats. <laughs> we are in Bollywood, bye. <laughs> saddest part of leaving the bushes is watching those sunsets particularly on the last night and you know just uh, admiring the beauty of Almighty's creation. I'd like to thank all uh, the whole team uh, my brother Shahid, uh, Bangs, Maru, Johnny, Azar, Mark and the whole team we got together. Uh, I hope to do it again soon in the future and uh, yeah let's see how it goes all good man all good, this was a successful trip yeah, yeah. we got our quota we got our animals we had a lovely time with the outfitter with our cameraman with the crew it was lovely beautiful experience so i think one of the best parts about being in the bush is the debriefing of the day so you stood around the fire and everybody debriefs their experiences they tell you their old stories they tell you their new stories you know you learn about people, you just understand guys. That is why you have so many emotions and so many things going on on the campsite. And it's just, it's, it's lovely, it's really good. You go to bed and you just feel warm in your heart. Good stuff, man. So I'd like to thank Classic Safaris for giving us this opportunity to come and hunt here. I would like to thank the PH, Azar, Kader, awesome PH. I would like to thank the crew, the team, Maru, Bang, Samir, Kamran for being part of this journey and most of all I'd also like to thank the cameraman Johnny who has been always on deck ready for action never lets go any moment and uh, I'd like to end up this by saying teamwork makes the dream work AGM meeting 9 o'clock about uh, today's yeah, events one, and uh, Heinefeld hunt. Mm. 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 It was a good day. Yeah. Mm. Some of you we might had the good. Elan and we've got three Hemsbach one and an Impala. Bit. It was a fantastic day. Okay, uh, what could you have? On the first day. What could you have shot? <laughs> <laughs> what could we you have? We could have been double figures. <laughs>